Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book tag. This one is Stephen King centric. This is why it is being posted on Thursday. The original one, if you didn't see my original uh, Can You Adapt It book tag, uh, it's not my original. I didn't create it. Raul Reeds did. Um, I will leave a link down to his uh, channel and original video down there in the doobly-doo. But the reason we're here today, since I've already done this, um, I asked you guys if you wanted a Stephen King centric a version of this tag and y'all said yes so here we are I'm gonna jump right into it as uh, only Stephen King movies um, or you know books and movies those are the only things that I can talk about in this one so the first question is what is your favorite book adaptation um, I want to say it's stand by me uh, which is of course the adaptation of the body from his novella collection different seasons uh, the reason I'm going with this one and not the it remake reboot whatever is because i hated chapter two so much but if you want a more accurate uh choice here it would be it chapter one or whatever you want to call the andy machete uh reboot remake the the first movie um and also this is going to come up in another answer here so i didn't want to use it for that uh number two uh anyways i think stand by me is is a, a great at adaptation um, I think it, it's one of those, it's abs an absolute classic film. Uh, everything is amazing about it. I, I really can't, I really can't fault it at all. Um, there were some parts that I did prefer the book to the movie in some points where I preferred the movie to the book, but that's beside the point. Um, out of all of Stephen King's movies, I can go back and rewatch Stand By Me over and over and over again. Anyway, so number two. What is your least favorite adaptation? I'm not going to beat a dead horse here. Everybody, I think everybody knows that it's The Shining. And we're not talking about little garbage movies like uh, Mercy or, you know, things like that. Um, uh, it, we're, we're not, yeah, we're not going to go go there. Um, though, I, th I think I want to choose from the ones that, you know, most people have seen. And it's The Shining. But since everybody knows that, I'm going to pick another one also. And that's 112263. I cannot stand James Franco. Um, the guy's weird. Uh, he got caught sexting a 14 year old. Uh, he didn't seem to have any problem with that. And that has just completely disappeared off of the uh, public conscious. I don't know why. I don't know why he's still working. But uh, besides that, I don't like him as an actor. I think he's uh, goofy. I think he's unfunny. I, I don't like the guy. Um, but not only that, but they changed way too much about the book. I didn't even like the book. And I was still upset that they changed so much about it. Um, but with the, their choices didn't make sense to me. Um, and I ended up quitting it halfway through. So that's the biggest of Stephen King's uh, adaptations that I walked away from, I think. Um, I've turned off numerous ones. Like, I've never seen Lawnmower Man all the way through. Uh, anyways, and Mercy, I, it's based off the short story Grandma with the kid from The Walking Dead, Carl. Coral, whatever the hell his name is. Um, he, he's in it. I, I, no. Anyways, so moving on. Number three, if you could adapt any book, which one would it be and why? Um, this is already being adapted again for the third time. Uh, the first time it was done by Toby, Ho Ho uh, Toby Hooper. That name always makes me stutter. Um, uh, it was fantastically done. It was done again as Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe was in uh, the 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 remake, reboot, whatever the television miniseries, and James Wan is directing the new one or is writing the new one. I'm not sure for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers owns it indefinitely, so if I ever do try to write it, I'm gonna have to get with them. But uh, it's Salem's Lot. Uh, I I don't think any uh, even though Toby Hooper's version is pitch perfect, it doesn't look as great and I think you can only get in four by three you you can only get in full screen and not widescreen um, if I'm wrong about that leave no don't leave me links just tell me where because I have links turned off down there in the doobly-doo um, another thing is if you want me to read your stuff don't email me don't don't email me and put it in the body of your email <laughs> and don't just blind link me to your books start a discussion before you're gonna pitch to me please anyways so my choice for this one is Salem's Lot um, I just put that section in there I don't even know if anybody who does this actually watches these kinds of videos but uh, anyways we're gonna jump into number four which is what's one adaptation that was portrayed perfectly this is for a book and a movie that I don't care too much for the reason I don't care too much for the book is long and drawn out I'm not gonna go into that 
I just think it's, uh, if I'm going to shorten it and say it succinctly, the book is never as good as it is in the beginning. The book gets worse and worse and worse until uh, I don't I don't like the ending at all. But the book just gets worse and worse for me. But I think the movie, which follows the book damn near perfectly, I don't like either because it follows the book perfectly. And that's the Dead Zone. Uh, Christopher Walken, I love him to death. Uh, everybody else, I could I could care less about. Um, even was it Martin Sheen as uh, what's the I can't remember the 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 dude who's going for president or whatever. I'm um, sure it'll it'll pop into my head eventually, but uh, yeah, Stilson. That's it. If you give it enough time, it'll pop in there. Um, Martin Sheen is Stilson. Yeah, it. Yeah, but it was it was done perfectly. So, yay for it. <laughs> I just don't care too much for the Dead Zone. Anyway, so next up is number five. If you could star in any book adaptation, which one would it be, and which character would you like to play? I don't fit the character whatsoever. First, I'm not old enough. Um, even when he's younger, he doesn't, I mean, I don't fit the part, but I would love to play Jacobs in a revival adaptation. I think that would be a lot of fun, especially the scene toward the end with the, with the woman. I, I would love to, I would love to be acting in that scene and I would prefer to be Jacobs in that scene. Next up, uh, number six, when it comes to adapting a novel, what's your preferred media? TV, miniseries, or film? Um, how I'm going to adapt this question is, do I prefer Stephen King movies to Stephen King miniseries? And my answer is movies. I, I can't think of a miniseries that I ever, that I watched that I ever truly enjoyed. I love The Langoliers, uh, but it's a bad, it's, it's a bad movie, a uh, bad miniseries. Uh, the original It, other than Tim Curry's Pennywise... It's really, really bad, y'all. I don't know what kind of nostalgia glasses you got on. The rose-colored glasses are affecting your vision, but, bruh, it's really, really bad. Curry's fantastic, but Curry was always a better clown than he was the entity It, I think. And that's because he's so overly made up. Uh, you, he kind he kind of gets lost in, lost in it, I think. So he's a great clown, but anytime It starts to poke through, like, the melting face or the... The teeth or whatever. I know it gave y'all nightmares with those teeth, but I laugh at that scene every single time because those teeth look so fake. Anywho, but that, that's 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 my choice. I would pick I would pick films over miniseries, and also because they see the films, even though they're more edited to fit in, because all Stephen King's books are long, right? Um, I I still feel like they do a better job capturing like the horror and everything of it. Nowadays, you don't see that all so much, like with Gerald's Game, but it wasn't a miniseries, it was a movie. Um, you see that all, you see a lot better uh, adaptations these days because they can do those things on television. Anyway, so uh, number seven, uh, if you could change anything from a recent adaptation, what would it be? 100% I would go and I would recut Andy Machete's movie and change a lot of it, but I would change it to where it jumps back and forth between... Uh, the adults and the kids because that's that second movie is absolutely god awful and the reason for it several reasons is because they had to de-age the kids uh, there's not really much that happens in just the adult parts until the end it made no sense to me to cut these into two separate movies I don't know why they did it I think it's one of the biggest baddest decisions ever made in cinema to have done that uh, and that's why the first one it, I feel is just absolutely perfect it is so good even with all the changes they made, but then you have part two comes in and just runs a wrecking ball through all the good stuff. All right, so number eight, which is technically the last one, uh, it, is there a book adaptation better than the actual book? If so, which one? Doctor Sleep. I mean, hands down. I don't. I don't even have to explain myself. If you've seen Doctor Sleep and you've read the book, the movie is so much better than the book and I think in this case I think that's the only one that is a hundred percent better there are some like the Shawshank Redemption I prefer to watch than read I know there's some differences uh, but I just prefer that but anyways uh, and the last one is tag some people I would love to hear uh, Maza um, let's see here Tony Uzumaki clan um, anybody who wants to do this one Go ahead and do it. Uh, Nick, Spooky Noodles, any, any of you guys, any of you Stephen King fans that want to go and do this, please go and do it. Uh, Patrick, I'd love to see I'd love to see you do this tag. Um, I know you don't do too much on YouTube, but I'd love to, to hear your, your thoughts on this one. But yeah, so that's my tag. I'll leave the questions down there in the doobly-doo if you want to do uh, this version of it, the King-only one, uh, or the one that, that Raul created that you can do 
you know, anything with. Uh, links and all that stuff will be down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book tag video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!